big week up at the lodge this week. We're all getting ready for the Possum Lodge barbecue games. That's where all the members bring in their game and we barbecue it. <laughs> now, I was supposed to get the barbecue sauce, but you know, the stuff that you buy is watered down, it's overpriced. Plus, I, I forgot to get it. <laughs> so instead, I went down in the basement, mixed up my own. I call it Red's Hot Sauce. <laughs> Pretty spicy, I'll tell you. My slogan is, who says men never cry? <laughs> it was either that or wind at my back. Hey, Red. Yeah. Harold's looking for the barbecue sauce. He wants that mild honey mesquite. Oh, no, no, no. We're going another way this year, Don. Red's Hot Sauce. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, what's in it? Uh, mainly ketchup, but there's some other stuff. I got mustard and jalapenos and cayenne and wasabi and horseradish in there. And I got some allspice. I got a secret ingredient and one really moist prune. Wow. Yeah. Geez, it looks great. Yeah. What's the secret ingredient? Even I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> you know, there was this can of blue gooey stuff at the back of the pantry, so I, you know. <laughs> well, uh, mind if I have a taste? No, no, not that way, not huh? that way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here. Put a little bit on a toothpick and try that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? No? Uh, well? Yeah, yeah. You know, that prune gives it a nice... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Have you got a problem or something? Because my loins are overheating. I'm here for the barbecue sauce. What's this? That's barbecue sauce. That's barbecue sauce? Very much so. <clears throat> okay. It doesn't look like mild honey mesquite. No, no, it's something a little different. Very much so. Harold, you're the one always complaining that I never try anything new. <laughs> okay. games were so successful, we're taking Red's hot sauce to a whole new level. We're going commercial. <laughs> but it's not enough to have the product. You also have to have the marketing. I mean, where would Paul Newman's salad dressing be without Paul Newman, eh? Or Michelin tires without the big, fat, hairless, French albino marshmallow guy. <laughs> or, or, or Janet Jackson without the Super Bowl. <laughs> so our marketing gimmick is our packaging. It's a water pistol, huh? huh? Now you can spice up your steak without even getting up out of your lawn chair. Huh? You can shoot your game twice. <laughs> and I got a new name for it. Red Saturday Night Special Sauce. If you're going to a party, make sure you're packing heat. Uncle Red, Uncle Red, what is the secret ingredient in that sauce? I don't know, Harold. See, that's the beauty of it. Nobody knows. I went up to the university, I took this to the lab, and they've analyzed it, right? No, 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 Harold. Wait a sec, wait a sec. The time has come. It's jet fuel. <laughs> wow. You cannot sell that sauce. People don't like blowing up. <laughs> okay, first of all, that's a generalization. And secondly, we're not going to sell it as barbecue sauce. We're going to sell it as gasoline additive. <laughs> We're going to make a killing, Harold. Exactly. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, this gasoline additive is a real winner. Guys care a lot more about their cars than they do about their barbecues. 
We changed the packaging, we got a new name. I'm calling it Red's Gas Attack. <laughs> I'm actually going to play myself in the TV commercial. Dalton's just on his way over here right now to figure out how we can do it for free. But I tell you, man, I mean, everybody's car is running great. They're getting fantastic gas mileage. The only problem is the exhaust smells like a sirloin steak. <laughs> You know, like a, a dog will chase you for like 90 miles. You know? <laughs> when I'm sitting there idling, fat guys start circling my vehicle. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Red, I need to talk to you. What explosion? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> that was my car. That was my car with your gasoline treatment in it. That was the loudest backfire I've ever heard. Oh, sure, sure. It was exciting and it smelled a bit like ribs. But it blew my engine! Boy, that, that is unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what are you going to do about it? Well, uh, how about a lifetime supply of the... No! Oh, oh. No! All right, uh, well... Okay, I'll replace your car. What, what was it, anyway? Well, it was an 82 Reliant with less than 500,000 miles on it. Okay, I can get one, but you'll have to wait till garbage day. Green <laughs> time. Wait, yeah, oh. yeah. Lighten up, Dalton. Okay, the plan backfired, so did your car, but you didn't get hurt. Nobody was following you, were they? I don't think so. I don't know. Well, see? So there's no problem. Away you go. Go on. <laughs> Uncle Red! That's what you get for tailgating, Harold. <laughs> it's meeting time. I was an innocent victim in a barbecue sauce explosion! <laughs> You know, Harold, you're not the first virgin to be burned at the stake. There you go. If my wife is watching, I'll be coming straight home after the meeting, and I am out of the barbecue business. I'm hoping maybe you and I can cook something up later now that I'm off the sauce. <laughs> and to the rest of you, thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and Harold and the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge, keep your stick on the ice. Okay, everyone, have a great day. Come on, sit down now. Come on, sit down. That's right. Come on, sit down. All right. On the army, on the smaller side. Sit down. Bow your heads for the man's prayer. I'm a man. But I can change, if I have to, I guess. Okay, man, it's all over with the barbecue sauce and the fuel additive, because apparently the stuff blows up. So I would suggest you get that out of your gas tank immediately, unless your car is a rental.